So hello guys, in today's video I'm going to explain how to detect uh, task schedule bypass method and how to use system informer. This is for the people who couldn't attend on yesterday webinar and or were a bit lost and also for people who want just to learn a screenshot, you can use this video as knowledge. Okay. So first of all I'm going to, uh, I'm going to talk about what the task schedule method is for. Uh, if you don't know, there is a folder on Windows called prefetch. Uh, prefetch will load uh, every every .x extension you opened on this uh, on the computer. As you can see here, if now I open, uh, for example, Opera GX, um, okay. <clears throat> if now I refresh here, it will appear. Okay, it will load the uh, .pf extension. This is uh, like a file that the registry you open at uh, Opera. So now, if I go to here to uh, task schedule you as you can see i have no cmd uh, open it like recently but this task example task uh, will if i execute this it will pop a cmd with uh, admin params so now if i go here i go execute it pops a cmd but it will not open open it here you know it will not create a dot pf file so this is what the uh, task schedule is for you can avoid the .pf extension uh, create here. Also, if now I go to my desktop, let me one moment. I open MSH. No, no. I open what? What can I open? Um, journal trace. Okay, can it pop up here? But also, it will not appear here, okay? It will not create a .pf extension. But if I open like this normally, okay, go, it creates a consent, and you can here just look for journal trace. But in normal cases, it will not appear nothing. If you execute something with the uh, task schedule CMD, or just go with the task schedule. Okay, so, so now if this is explained, I'm gonna show you how to detect. If uh, the... <coughs> If the task just is still here, just open this. You can look here for a task schedule. You can see task, and this is the one you need to open. If the user just go and delete the task, okay, we can do two things for detect this. First of all, we open journal trace. I think I don't need to explain how this works or how to use this. And then we will just try to scan uh, the folder I mean the, the drive where the task folder is. Okay. In this case I will go for C drive. <coughs> I select, I scan. And this time instead of going the data grid, we will go directory tree. If we go directory tree, you will have this C drive in in the journal trace. We go to win to C window system thirty two. And this this folder task now we look for example and as you can see here file create at uh, 10 47 p.m if we go to show file information we can see here file delete close okay just like a few seconds ago one minute this is the fir first method for detect this okay also if we go to registry explorer we execute like with admin params, always with uh, admin params. We wait it for execute. Okay, and now we go to file. On file, we go to live system and then load software. Once the hive is uh, like loaded, we go we can do two things here one if the task is still uh, on the computer the user didn't delete the the task we can go to bookmark bookmarks common and down here we have task cache we open this folder and we go to task okay you have all the tasks uh, who have been on the pc here and here you can see i deleted one this is example you know you can see here if I deleted one task or not. But also, if we go like this here, we can get just filter for task name. 
I don't. Uh, if I look, for example, it's here. You can see the version uh, created on last star, last action. You can see everything here. And if it's deleted, you can just go here and look. For example, uh, there is a deleted task example here, just right here. So this is the two methods you can use for uh, detect task schedule. In my opinion, the easiest one. There is a, a few other methods, but I think it's useless if you have this, uh, these two. So now, uh, after this, I'm going to explain how to use System Informer, okay? Uh, as you can know, guys, the computer works with process and services. So System Informer will help us to... Okay. Uh, no, this is one not. To try to, uh, like, dump some information from them. Uh, first of all, we need the System Informer program. You can download it from the official website. And we export uh, AMD 64.1. If you don't know how to uh, how to install, you go to System Informer download. You go here, downloads, and we go to the Canary version. Okay, the other version, no, go Canary version. Here you can just choose on binaries, setup, uh, whatever you prefer. I will go for binary. I open and then just uh, extract uh, AMD 64, no this and not this, this one. After this, we will open at, uh, with administration uh, administrator perms. And on normal cases, if the user is the first time who uh, opened uh, System Informer, it will not appear like this, okay? Will not uh, plus plus administrator, it will appear like this. Only System Informer Administrator. So now, if the first thing you need to do once you open System Informer is go Options, then go Enable Kernel Mode Driver, and then go like this. And then just uh, restart the APP. If here name, if a program name is like System Informer, Desktop, blah blah blah, plus plus Administrator, good. If it's only system informer desktop blah 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 administrator not good okay this very good other not good so now uh, here we have like a search bar where we can uh, like just look for for processes or services uh, in this case i will ex try to explain you just a few processes that are useful in a screen share but not all of them okay uh, first of all, we will go for CSR, CSRSS. This is like a client runtime. This is necessary for computer running. So, if you ever wanted to try to stop or suspend this, okay, don't try. Uh, engine kaput, or if you don't know, guys. Okay, um, there is two. As you can see, there is two here. I highly recommend if you want to proof execution of something, go to the less private bytes one. Okay, the other one will not register everything you open, will also uh, register anything you like enter, is indexed, okay? As you, um, for example, I go to register explorer folder, but you never uh, see, saw me opening like uh, the DLL, the library, or going to, or opening license. Uh, you only saw me opening uh, this, the docx extension, the, ex the executable. So, if I go to the more previous one here, uh, 7 MB my megabytes, I go to Options. This is how you can dump uh, information, okay? You double click, you go to here, to, gener uh, to Memory, Options, and then go to Strings. Once here, you will uh, like have some filters for uh, a string search. You go 4 or 5, whatever you prefer, then mark extended unicode and map it then you go to ok and it will dump all the strings now you go to filter and we will try to and we will um, select contains case insensitive one not other one just contains and here you can search for the filter pattern for example i opened uh, i want to, sh to look for uh, the user uh, executable extensions then i go to the drive you can just go to the C drive if the, if the, one, the users uh, only one. 
or go here or, or go like this if the user have uh, more than one drive. This is for example uh, my virtual machine but on my personal computer I have three three drives okay C, D and E. So it's better for uh, this this track here, this filter here is better for the for people who has more than one drive. But if you are very sure the cheat was executed on C drive, just go or D, just go C or just go D, whatever you prefer. In my case I will go with uh, with like this. Then you go to OK and then you filter here again, contains again, case insensitive, and look for um, the extension you want. For example, dot x. Where is my dot? Here. Dot x. And here you can see everything that the user at least um, in, is indexed, you know. In the whole screenshot, uh, and before the I started recording, I swear to God, I never opened everything. But the, the file is here, you know. Also, um, journal trace is here. Journal trace with no these uh, these two is here too. System informer is here. MMC is here. Clone notifications is here. WinPrefetch view is here. MMC is here too. But if I go to to the other one, as you can see here. Uh, too much uh, results. I don't know how to say that number on uh, English. Then go to options to the less uh, private bytes. Go strings again. Five extended Unicode mapped. You, know, you see, only fourteen thousand. Thousand. Not that much as here, like uh, two hundred and thirty thousand. It's not that much. Only uh, fourteen thousand. Okay. Uh, so this is the first one. The first uh, filter, you go to strings, 5 or 4, whatever you prefer, extended unico, map it, filter, double point, uh, reverse uh, slash, OK, then extension, dot extension, dot exe. And then you can see here everything the user executed. Another very useful uh, service is DPS, OK, write uh, this, and go for this one. Then go options, strings, 5, extended only code, map it again, OK. Go to filter, and this time we'll put uh, double exclamations, and again filter for the extension, dot x. OK, as you can see, uh, if you don't know guys, every program executed on the computer with this extension has, uh, with dot x extension, has a compilation date that is registered on this service. So if I look here for any desk, for example, it will appear here any desk, the extension and also a compilation date. If I go for journal trace, you can see here uh, double exclamation journal trace uh, dot exe. So this is very useful, uh, like track filter track, whatever you call uh, you want to call, very useful for beginners. By the way, there is a lot of uh, more filters I will leave on the description of this video. You can use on the on any screen share, but all the processes uh, works or services works the same. You go to any this time I will go to Explorer. You double click. You go to options uh, to memory options strings. You hear a, sh a string search minimum length five standard uh, Unicode map it okay. You let him dump all the results, then you filter now. Um, journal trace. And now it will appear all here, all the shit uh, with journal trace on, on his name, all the strings with journal trace on his uh, string. So I think uh, everything is covered. Uh, System Informer has uh, other useful tools, like uh, you can look just for um, stopped processes. For example, the act track is not stopped here. You can see uh, the status of the process. In this case, is running. So, um, in the whole time of screen sharing, uh, um, System Informer was uh, the useful one. And I mean, for a long time, it was the useful one. If you have any doubts, you can ask me through Red Lotus or just go to the comment uh, comment section and ask me. 
as I said, uh, I will leave the the filters, uh, a lot of filters on the on the description. So if you have any doubts about it, just uh, ask. Okay, goodbye, guys.